What's up? Hey, today we're back with another pregnant week of workouts. The last week of workouts I shared, it was filmed near the end of my second trimester. Flash forward to today, we are coming up on nine months of pregnancy, which is crazy, especially if you've been keeping up with this journey and you know how we found out about this pregnancy at six months. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it down below. But I am committed to continuing to share this journey because because I truly believe that staying active throughout pregnancy is a big part of what's allowed me to keep feeling good, keep having good energy, keep feeling good in my body, avoid a lot of the pain and discomfort that can come from growing a literal baby. Not to mention it has given me so much confidence going into labor and delivery based on what I've been researching. We'll talk about that in an upcoming video. For now though, I want to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes for anyone who loves learning. Being self-employed, there is no mat leave, there is no slowing down, the work does not work unless I do. And so rushing to assemble a nursery, research all things baby, going to appointments now weekly, life has been crazy. Productivity has been a focus with my routine. Last week of workouts, I shared another Skillshare class on productivity. Since then, I've started taking Ali Abdal's product Productivity Masterclass, principles and tools to boost your productivity. Ali's approach really resonates with me because he's a doctor, a YouTuber, he's always working on a million and one things that he seems to transition between effortlessly. And I have to think it's because he's got this almost tactical approach to productivity, which as somebody who studied engineering is very appealing to me if you just scroll through what's included in this class. The productivity equation, the myth of motivation, I talk about this all the time with fitness, Parkinson's law, Newton's first law of motion, talk nerdy to me. This is definitely my style of learning and if you like the sciencier side to my channel, I have a feeling you'd really like this as well. There's so much more in the class but if you want to check out Skillshare for yourself, the first thousand people to use my code or click the link in the description box down below will get a one month free trial to Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity and productivity today. What is up? Welcome to my garage. I actually just realized that I don't think I've shown you guys, at least on YouTube, the garage since we repainted, since we, I wouldn't say like remodeled, but like upgraded it a little bit. This has been part of our nesting. We've been doing updates, all kinds of stuff. So let's do a quick tour. First thing we got going on is we repainted the walls of the garage to be black. I actually don't think they were ever painted, but we wanted to go with like, a dark void, black hole, spacey kind of vibe. I don't know if that's actually what we were going for, but that's what I'm gonna call it. We'd already had the black turf since last year, but I really feel like adding the paint completed the look. Jeff's big idea was because the turf didn't extend all the way to the wall, he's like, okay, we're gonna take exercise tiles. They literally go from here to here and just overlap the turf over those so that we didn't have any gaps in the overall look, got the walls sprayed, got the concrete sprayed, put a little cover over the hose attachment thingy. Depending what the camera's doing, it might look like there's streaks that aren't actually streaks. It's just like the exposure, the way that the lights hit. But if we go over here, come on over guys. Whoa, check out this sign. This is something that Jeff got custom. If you're doing the show up series with me, if you're in the team plans app, you should know that logo by now. Okay, the team, work out with me. So we've actually got some different light settings. Jeff just showed me how to use this, but we are working with a little bit less bandwidth in the brain. Whoa, we're flashing. Luxury lifestyle right here, big addition. Going over here though, I'm gonna show you my favorite feature. In the gym right now, we have got the electric bug and fly swatter, okay? Because bugs come on here, they bug me and I don't have time or energy for that. This is my life now. I try to catch every kick on camera and baby gets shy. Oh, did you guys see that? Here, wait, watch right there. Little one. 
For today's workout, I will be doing full body heat from the show up series. In case you missed my last video, the show up series is my latest free workout challenge. It's in the team plans app. Selfishly, I was inspired to make this based on where I'm at on my pregnancy journey because yes, I have been struggling with routine. So this series is designed to press reset on your routine. Whether you've had a setback, a slip up, or you're just having trouble staying on track, like you don't have to be pregnant to do this with me. What is up? Up. So we just left our first ever appointment with our pelvic floor PT, which maybe this is late in the game. Maybe it's early. I don't know. I feel like we're being proactive with this pregnancy by seeing a pelvic floor PT before the postpartum recovery. So what we did today was something called a push prep class. It was just me, her and Jeff. And it was really cool because she went through the entire labor and delivery process from a physiological standpoint. So we went through the different laboring positions. We went through what I should be feeling, how I should be breathing. She really included Jeff in the process. Anyways, we are now at the bouldering gym. I will, for very obvious reasons, not be bouldering today. Like, hello, in case you forgot, I just, I'm like obsessed with the belly. I am, as much as I'm excited to meet the baby, I just love my pud body. I love how round I am. I wish I could have the baby but also keep the belly. So we're at the bouldering gym, even though I will not be bouldering today, I did wear basically the same outfit as the last week of workouts I filmed, just for comparison, because I think it's kind of funny. Like last time this shirt hid the belly fine. Now when I walk around, it's just like a little tent on the front. So we're gonna be here in solidarity with Jeff. Welcome to our Wednesday workout. As you can see, we are at the gym today. This is something I've been trying to do at least once a week just to get me out of the house so I'm not just sitting around waiting on having this baby. But one thing I definitely love about the show up series about my routine lately is that I can go between the gym or home because I'm doing mostly dumbbell only or body weight training. So I have that flexibility to go in between, which like if that wasn't important before is definitely going to be important with a baby coming. Today we are training full body strength again from the show up series. Now, I know what you're thinking. She's not lifting super heavy. How is this strength training? Something I learned when I made the switch from gym to home training back in 2020, as I feel like everybody did, at least temporarily, is that yes, you can progress by lifting heavy, but you can also progress by progressing your exercise difficulty, selecting more challenging exercises. So that's something that I do in a lot of my programming. But another thing that makes this workout unique is that it is no repeat. Now you might be wondering, this sounds kind of sketchy because anybody who knows what they're doing with strength training knows that muscle confusion doesn't work. The best, most effective way to make progress in the strength and muscle department is to keep doing those same key compound exercises and either doing more reps, sets, or weight over time. However, I can see how muscle confusion is tempting because it's mentally stimulating. Every workout, you're doing a new thing. And back in 2020, when I first made that switch from gym to home training, I was having so much trouble staying focused. Everything felt so boring because I was stuck in my home, staring at a wall, doing the exact same things daily. So I came up with my own style of no repeat training where I wasn't always doing the same thing. I was avoiding that mental fatigue without compromising the effectiveness of my training. I'm still sticking to those same key compound exercises, your squat, your deadlift, your press, your pull, those same things that you would be doing in the gym, 
but I'm making subtle tweaks to them so you don't feel like you're doing the exact same thing throughout the workout. Editing this back, I realized I got no footage in like horizontal YouTube format on Thursday. I only shot things on my phone and that is because I am doing my best. Each week I aim for three days of full body training. I stay active in between. So I don't know why I'm like already feeling guilty for not showing you some sort of structured workout today. In this show up series, I do include videos every day of this series so that you know kind of like the level of activity that I would be doing that'll still allow you to prioritize recovery between trainings, but I don't always stick to those exactly. So what we got up to was Jeff and I had planned a dinner date Thursday night, something we have been working to do as we get closer to meeting baby is planning one event per week. We have scaled these back recently, but last week we had a pretty big week. We went out for ice cream at our favorite spot. If you're in Toronto, I highly recommend I Halo Crunch. So heckin' good. Walked around the city, got really sweaty because it was a hot day. Had dinner, went out to a comedy show with our friends. This week we made a dinner reservation at a restaurant that is kind of bougie and I figured my bike shorts would just not cut it even though they are all that fit me at this stage of pregnancy. So we did go out and try on some dresses. I had three options, loved the first. The second was a cute little pick by Jeff. Third, I had so much, it had a lot of potential if it had more spandex or like stretchy material in the blend, but I did get the other two dresses. I ended up going with the first. From that point forward, our night was just perfect. We got charred octopus and burrata with seasonal fruits and veggies as an app. Then we got this fungi pizza. Then we went for a walk and got gelato, three different types of gelato. I love having options. Did some walking, just generally lived actively, which I feel like is something that is so often overlooked in these week of workout videos, I have trouble figuring out how to share these aspects of my routine because they're little things I don't even think about anymore, right? When I go on like nighttime or morning walks with the dog, when I'm getting up and adjusting throughout the day, I've had this obsession that's developed like later in pregnancy with vacuuming. The more stressed I am, the more I vacuum the house. And that can be pretty physical when you're getting up and down, like on your hands and knees, maneuvering all around the house, getting the nooks and crannies. I didn't film our dog walks earlier in the week because I just thought it would be boring. And we do a lot of them once the sun has gone down at night. But yes, most days in addition to training around the days in between training I'm walking I love walking it's free it's easy you can do it essentially any time of year it grounds me it's so good for me mentally it helps keep my digestion moving it's an activity I can do that is at a low enough impact and intensity that it doesn't disrupt my recovery between training like so many benefits biggest fan of walking what is up we have officially made it to the end of the week just barely with how I'm feeling I feel like I've officially entered the stage of pregnancy where I can say I'm heavily pregnant, which I've always thought was a hilarious term. It just sounds so like old timey to me, but now I actually know what that feels like. I'm currently being kicked in the ribs. Don't know if that's showing up on your end. Super fun. But to get my body moving, to get that motivation going, we are trying out a little switch up of surroundings. I have convinced Jeff to do today's full body boot camp with me. We're gonna be doing it outside. So he is setting up our mats and our weights and all that jazz. And we're just, you know, buckle up because we are gonna have a great time today. All of us, I was gonna say you and me, but then I'm like all of us three. Ah, oh, there's three of us. But then I'm, but then I'm like, but would it be four if I'm counting you who's watching? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. As for our little not so little friend, we have indeed stopped with the rib kickies. However, something I've noticed that like when I start working out or I start getting hotter, which it is quite hot outside today, the belly definitely expands. That is it 
for today's video. I feel like we had a pretty good week of training. Of course, I knew I was filming a week of workouts, so that probably gave me a little extra boost to get everything done, but being honest with you, something I have noticed, especially as I get later into the pregnancy, is yes, I am struggling more with my energy. And each time I go through kind of like a, a physical progression of some sort. So for example, about a week and a half ago now, maybe a week ago, I'm not sure, baby dropped in my belly or dropped deeper into my pelvis. It's called a drop. It's called lightening. It's something that happens as you near labor and delivery. And when that happened, I got really sleepy. I just felt completely different in my body, which is kind of funny because it doesn't sound like that big of a change. And when I was reading about it online, because I like to read about all the changes in my body, everybody was emphasizing, oh, you should have so much more room to breathe. Your lungs can properly expand now. You should experience less heartburn. Haven't really seen that yet because your organs have room. But it just made me feel really heavy. I've been calling them little zings that I get and they're just kind of these quick shooting pains that I get going down my groin or on the back side of my hips, maybe kind of like sciatica. I don't think I've ever had that before. And that's fine. I guess what I'm getting at is that not every week of training during pregnancy looks like this. Last week, I missed a couple days. Even though I only do full body training three days a week, some weeks have just been a lot of walking. Take all that with a grain of salt because something I have been emphasizing with myself and working to really reiterate with my own mindset is that when you're preparing for any sort of major athletic event, which is how I'm preparing for labor and delivery, as you near the end of your training cycle or whatever you wanna call it, there are going to be days where you're fatigued, where you're feeling beat up in your body because you're training very hard. Your body's going through a lot of changes so that hopefully on the day of that event, you are at your peak. That is how I've been explaining it to the people at the gym who ask like, when I'm due, you know, what are, why are you still at the gym? I'm like, cause I can't sit at home, I'm gonna go crazy, right? Right? But I, we go to a bodybuilding gym. I used to compete in bodybuilding if you're new around here. And as you near the end of prep, as you get very lean, you are getting fatigued. There are days that you're cranky. There are days that you just want to nap and do nothing. And that is fine. It's part of the journey. It's not unique to pregnancy. Pregnancy is not something that needs to be negative, that needs to just be all complaining about how you feel in your body or how your body is changing. You are going through these changes because you are about to do something amazing. That's at least the lens I am choosing for my journey. So I am rambling, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you are pregnant, if you're planning on becoming pregnant, if you've been pregnant, or maybe if you're like nowhere near, like even like considering pregnancy, but you just find these videos interesting. I always like to hear from you. I'm gonna continue filming as long as I can. If I just go off the grid for a little bit, it's probably because I've had the baby. So make sure you're following me on the other socials. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.